Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and in this video I'm going to be giving you an overview of the Rosewill Line Glow Mid Tower Computer Case. It is made out of uh, steel as well as some plastic and mesh. It is smaller than average the average Mid Tower case in width, so you can fit it into slightly smaller spaces. And let's take a look at the actual case itself in a little bit more detail. So here's the line glow from Rosewell. You can see that it is a relatively small mid-tower chassis. The width on it is not as wide as many of them, only 7.09 inches wide. The casing itself is made out of a black steel, and the front bezel is made out of plastic. We've got three five and a quarter inch drive bays here. One of them can also be used as an external three and a half inch drive bay if you'd like. Two USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, a headphone, front headphone jack, front microphone jack, reset switch, power LED, hard drive LED, and a power button. Behind the mesh here, we've got two Rosewill 120 millimeter blue LED fans. And then on top, we also have a 120 millimeter blue LED fan with room for an additional 120 millimeter. On the side of the case, the, we have a nice clear side window um, and Rosewell did have protective film on this to keep it from getting scratched during shipping and it's riveted in here with um, some rivets. Actually has a little bit of detailing, it kind of looks cool on the side panel. These are attached on with simple thumb screws so you can pop them off easily. On the rear you've got your motherboard I.O. tray panel, a rear 120 millimeter Rosewill fan that does not have any LEDs in it, as well as two water cooling grommets, seven expansion slots, and a area for your bottom mount power supply. The other side is a simple plain um, steel side panel. Uh, also comes off with thumb screws. Here's a better look at the top of the case here with the 120 millimeter fan, blue LED fan, and the other mounting spot for the 120 millimeter fan. And then also over here on the bottom, you've got four rubber feet. Um, these are glued on to the bottom with a heavy-duty adhesive and you've also got a easy to remove flexible filter here for the power supply. The front bezel does pop off simply by pulling it and you have the wiring for the front panel in there so you do have to be care careful of that when removing the front panel. Um, they are connected here with connectors that can be removed. Uh, they are zip tied in pretty well so you're going to want to probably leave that stuff alone unless you really want to pull this front bezel off for some modifications or something. The additional five and a quarter inch bays um, one of them is already punched out but you have to remove the extra piece of metal if you wanted to use those five and a quarter inch bays just by flexing them and popping them out. Let's pop this front bezel back on here it just clips back into place and let's take a look at the interior of the case. Some other things to note are that the width and height of the case are fairly typical for a mid tower at 16.54 inches tall and 18.51 inches in depth. On the interior here, we've got our three mounting locations for our five and a quarter inch drives, and you've got a simple twist and 
these the locks pop out and then you place them back in and twist them to lock them into place on your optical drives right in here you've got a bracket that is screwed in by the manufacturer to accommodate a three and a half inch drive so if you wanted to use this for a five and a quarter inch drive you'd have to pull this bracket out you've also got two quick twist and to unlock and place back in to lock in for your three and a half inch drive base and what this also includes a three and a half to two and a half inch bracket for laptop hard drives or SSDs which are more typical uh, in a desktop build. You've got eight three and a half inch drive bays here internally so there's plenty of room here to accommodate any number of hard drives and on your cabling you've got your um, HD audio or AC97 for the front panel USB 2.0 connection your typical header connections of your power switch, reset switch, power LED, hard drive LED, a USB 3 header, and we have the two connections for the front fans that come through, which can be used by plugging in the 4-pin Molex connection, or you can plug in a 3-pin fan header into your system board or fan controller. On the rear one, we only have the three pin header style available. And on the top fan, we have the same three pin header as well as the four pin Molex that can be used. The bottom mount power supply does include a uh, four rubber feet for the power supply to sit on to help dampen the vibration. And the manufacturer installs the standoffs in place for a standard ATX board. It also supports a micro ATX installation. You've got your large CPU heatsink cutout um, and the steel is rounded on here so it's not sharp. You don't really have to worry about cutting your fingers or um, cutting cabling if you decide to run some through there. You've also got some cable management holes here that actually push to the side of the case so you can hide a bunch of your cabling behind your hard drive trays uh, behind your hard drive mounts here um, there is no room behind the motherboard tray itself for hiding cables so you have to put everything behind these hard drive trays that you, you want to put in place finally we have our accessories that this comes with and those include our various screws as well as a motherboard speaker, some zip ties, and a bracket to replace one of the punch outs if you're using a single graphics card slot or say you put a dual graphics card in and you, then you decide to go down to a single graphics card. You have one blank to put in place there. You also have the Rosewill manual here, a uh, black and white manual shows all the diagrams of the entire system. The brackets on the back here are just break off brackets so they are throwaways you can't put them back in that's definitely something to note so you don't want to break off extra ones if you can avoid it. I hope you all enjoyed the overview of the Rosewill Line Glow Mid Tower computer case. For the full review please see www hightechlegion.com don't forget to check out the installation video on our YouTube channel as well as subscribe to the YouTube Facebook and Twitter for hightechlegion.com take care